hey guys um welcome back so uh, what I want to do now is to show you some of the improvements uh, made on the installer script since the last time I posted the first um, introductory video on um, the radius desk installer now if you haven't uh, watched the video uh, it's here on my blog I just introduced a kind of created a quick walkthrough uh, of the of how the installer works and what it does and what it tries to solve in terms of uh, problems um, yeah so basically some changes you know I've kind of implemented some changes um, um, initially you know it script just installs a bare bone um, copy of radius desk on your Red Hat or CentOS based box and now it actually goes um, kind of uh, gives gets more you know interactive because now we ask you if you want to customize your database credentials or you want to customize the free radio secret and all that and on top of that we've added the ability for you to install Kuva Chili uh, for the, we notice um, a lot of people actually install radio desk because they want a copy of um, Kuva Chili running uh, for hotspot 6 and a captive portal all right so uh, without wasting so much time um, this is the project site again uh, for those of you that are just watching this for the first time and you know you can just read about um, what the script tries to solve in terms of um, radio's desk all right um, so um, I have a vanilla installation of CentOS 6.5 and I kind of recommend you install using um, git but if you don't uh, want to use git of course you can always use wget so just make sure you have that installed already so this way um, it's very easy for you to clone All right so do git wget so install just a couple of packages here uh, this is not really required you just need git or wget and zip if you just want to download um, you know, a copy of the installer script all right so while that's while that's going um let me just walk you through um what is in the radius desk site um so eventually with time we're going to include the installer here i'll just want to make sure the script is um you know, kind of well tested before we put it on the site and you know that kind of just summarizes all um the steps in one script so it's supposed to be um a kick script a kickstart script that takes away all the pain or stress of uh, going through each of the steps and installing this for the first time. But if you are a developer or a hacker or somebody that just wants to uh, kind of know the underpinnings of Radius Desk, then I recommend you follow the steps um, because the script tries to you know kind of um, install it for you behind the scenes. Now uh, we've added the ability for you to select you know a web server technology uh, for use. Um, so by default, of course, if you want, you can install Nginx or Apache. Uh, of course, installs a copy of free radios with the um, Perl RLM um, raw support. This is for um, dynamic clients, so you can read about it in the radios desk site. All right, so let's check up on this guy. So um, for some reason, my internet connection is acting up, but you know, um, we need to install the packages anyway by default. So just something you need to know. Okay, so um, once the installation is completed, so we can go ahead and clone the the project's uh, repo. So since I prefer to use git, uh, I can just copy uh, the commands. Of course, you can paste it or you can just... Alright, so I type that twice, sorry for that. So all right, so do we git clone? Um, so basically, all you have to do is just to do a git clone, and you have a copy of the installer. So I'm just going to use a modular branch. So uh, this is the um, developer version. Uh, this is more leading edge than the master branch, and this is because um, a lot of the time people want to download from the master branch and the modular branch. So all right, that's the reason for that. So Right. so you should have a radius desk installer directory uh, this is uh, the directory that contains the installer so right within the installer uh, this is the one you're supposed to invoke uh, of course if you've used any shell script before you just know that you self invoke the script by typing the dot forward slash uh, and then the script name of course one thing you can do is you can actually just check the version of the script 
uh, this kind of helps you know the version at which uh, you're running of course uh, so but I'm going to run the installer and the moment you run the installer you notice that um, uh, you're presented with two options the setup radius desk option is the first one uh, usually the flow will be you start from setting up radius desk box and of course if you optionally want to set up a captive portal then you can go ahead and do that um, also the reason why this has been separated and it's not part of the complete installation is because um, a lot of people don't just um, I mean some people want to have separate boxes so for instance you can have a box for uh, the runs cover chili uh, for your captive portal and then you have another box um, that you've dedicated for radius desk and all that so uh, it just kind of allow you to create a multi-tenant or multi-node um, kind of setup for maybe for those of you that want to um, build a massive scale and all that all right so enough said uh, let's go ahead and set up radius desk so I'm going to pick one and here we are we are asked to pick a web server so you know nginx is recommended but if you want Apache you can go ahead and install Apache too all right so um, here we have been asked if you want to customize the database credentials um, so usually people um, that already don't know uh, what this is might just decide to say no and um, the installer will actually assume some defaults that uh, radios desk uses otherwise of course you can customize it to your own um, heart content uh, but anyway just want, because i want to show you how the script works i'm just going to go ahead and customize some things so i'll say yes and of course uh, just for the demo i just want to run radios desk um, locally so uh, the database of course uh, is going to run on the radios desk server so in this case um the host it's local host uh, the user uh, i'm just going to create arbitrary values here just for customization sake so here it's going to be right pass and the db name of course will be rddb right all right so the next thing is if you want to customize your radius credentials and uh, radius credentials here just simply means the radius um secret now uh, sometimes you want to just leave it as a default or you know if you have a different um machine that runs radius desk or full radius then you can actually um specify the secret that you use so in this case i'm going to customize that as well so change it from testing one two three to uh, secret all right so once you do that and you press enter um the script is going to take over and depending on the speed of your internet connection this might take a while so i recommend you go get a cup of coffee and um you know we come back when the installation is complete okay so our installation has completed and i uh, can see here on the screen that it's uh kind of went ahead and kind of um gave us a password um a credential user um to log into radios desk and come into radios desk on this uri or url uh using the ip address right now one of the things that was added to also is um this bit here so um what the system was trying to do is um, it realized that you installed um radios desk and um, you know kind of just trying to recommend if you would like to install um, captive portal and um, one of the things that uh, you know um, the script does is um, to actually allow you to from the from this step actually install a captive portal so that's just if you need it anyway but you can go ahead and say no uh, if you just want to install radios desk um, so that's pretty handy actually and uh, kind of makes the whole deployment um, you know easy for you all right so I'm going to say yes and um, of course it's going to ask us a couple of questions and of course if you've not set up um, cover chili before I recommend you actually visit the, uh, the project page uh, where you have installed cover chili here so um, it's pretty useful so that you really know um, Kind of configuration requirements that you should be you know kind of you have to present I mean, so um but for now uh the installer script we're going to assume some defaults um so your one interface should be you know so for me actually i have um i kind of um, have two interfaces uh which is the requirement if you want to install cover chili in fact your script will um decide to abort if it notices that uh, you don't have two network interface cards all right so uh one interface so yes is it zero on um, line interface um so something pretty interesting happening here i created a sub interface um this is just to show you 
um, the demo but if you are doing this then of course you have a dedicated um, network interface card that um, connects to your local area network all right so um LAN network so here you specify the subnet that you like to use and of course the default subnet mask and of course if you want to provide a UAM secret of course to default to UAM secret so let's just say um, I wanted to default to UAM secret and my radius test server right so my radius test server if you remember I installed it locally so this means um, you know the hotspot or captive portal is going to reside in the same box as radius desk uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and type local host here which is the default and the radio secret so you have to make sure that the radio secret matches where you entered previously when installing um, when you customize your radius credentials earlier in um, you know when installing radios desk all right so now this is going to be secret all right so once you do that it's going to go ahead and install chili and um, configure it for you all right so here uh, you can see it has actually installed um, Cooper chili and has configured it um, for you and uh, the next step of course is to um, reboot your machine so I recommend you reboot your machine and um, you know just to make sure everything has um, gone according to plan all right so yes I want to reboot the machine and of course we come back uh, when the machine is back up okay so um, our box is back and I've logged in and um, you know we're just going to visit our radios desk installation and see all right if everything went according to plan and it looks like uh, it went in kind of went successfully because um, you know I can see it's uh, kind of accessing the radios desk install all right so it gives you some time to come up okay so you can see the radius desk on um, UI so I'm going to log in as root and as admin uh, I know this because this is what uh, what holds the credentials are All right so go ahead and log in alright so we have a brand new installation of radius desk of course you can go ahead and change the default you know um, wallpaper so if you like uh, just to change it and see how it looks like um, I have a couple to choose from actually and um, of course there are so many things you can check here of course the log viewer uh, this allows you to view radius logs and um, gives you a pretty convenience for starting and stopping um, you know, um, free radius so you can see uh, you're viewing the free radius back end uh, another thing um, I won't actually show you uh, anyway because this is not part of the video um, it's not supposed to be you know part of the install of the video but um basically is um you you will now actually connect your clients to the um interface of your you know local area network um and of course once you do that then um you should be able to um get an ip address from over chile and it should be you know kind of good to go so let me just show you what um Kuba chile is doing right now um so Kuba chile kind of created a tunnel interface uh, based on the you know network you provided it went ahead and figured out the ip address to use here and of course uh, right now it's running because um Kuba chile uses that and what happens is when you connect your clients to the local area network connection or the lan facing um, interface of your radios desk box then of course you should get a dynamically assigned IP address and of course um, you have a working captive portal installed and um, once you do that of course uh, the next thing you want to do um, you have a couple of um, predefined users here or vouchers uh, so anyone is fine actually uh, just to test and of course you can create yours create your own custom templates or profile um, templates and all that so uh, what I intend to do um, in upcoming videos is to kind of come up with um detailed in-depth tutorials and walkthroughs of um, how to use radios desk uh with examples actually so um some people um you know the problem they have is not just installation um some of them have the installation but we have no idea what our profiles are or 
how to put uh, profile components or profile and then of course great vouchers and all that so uh, hopefully um you know if i have time i'll come back and kind of um you know do a video for you guys and all that all right so um here you can see um of course you can test um you can test based on the radio's user so here you can see uh, of course you can see you can test you can see there's a reply and all that so you can see they're actually working okay guys so hopefully um you like the installer project i can see from zero to radio's desk in a couple of minutes and um hopefully this has saved you a lot of time and um you know i intend to work on the project to support more of um, you know other distros as you can see in the site so um yeah drop me a uh, drop me an email or a line or if you really want to extend the project um please kindly send me a pull request and um i will include that you know in the official project all right um so see you next time and thanks for watching